Right, it's a quick video on how to use Tag Manager to set up tracking for form submissions, probably the easy, easiest way to do it. Um, you'll need your Google Analytics UAID to do this and also your Tag Manager account set up and also obviously Analytics. So first thing to do is just go into the variables on the left and just check or make sure that form ID is there. If it isn't, just click on configure and then just tick for my ID, which is down here. And yeah, okay, so when you've made sure that's there, I'm gonna set up a trigger so that um, Tag Manager knows when to fire uh, an event to Analytics. So I've already put one here, so what you would do, I'll go through it again, then what you do, give it a name, something like whatever's, actually do it properly, form submission. And then click these circles to configure it. And then all you would do is just go to form submission. Where's that gone? There we are. On there, uh, just leave those. And then just save and that's it. But I won't save it because I've already done it. And then you need to set up your tag. So new and then give it a name. Remember to have a decent naming convention. And then to configure this, press this circle. And then it's a Google Analytics event, so select Google Analytics at the top. And then you want event. And then this is a bit of fun confusing. Sometimes you're just gonna give it a name, so leads, action, what did I put down for this? Uh, form submitted. And then for this one, you want a variable, which is form ID. And then you want to trigger, which is form submitted. And that should be it, and then you just save that. Uh, don't do what I did, which is forget to, you want to preview it, and you want to get the tag assistant for Chrome. Just check everything's firing properly, and then submit it. Um, and then just make sure Go into analytics, uh, real time, and then just have a look at your events. So it is working, thankfully. Um, and that's it really, it's pretty straightforward when you know how. Um, stuck the steps in a blog post on here as well. But yeah, that's how to track your forms using Tag Manager. The form will need some kind of ID um, in order for it, for it to work properly, but if you're using like a WordPress plugin form, it, sh it should work fine which is what I've used on my uh, contact form here. Thank you.